Hello everyone, I hope you guys been doing well. While I was about to switch back, I just remember I promised to make a video on the Dior Lotus wallet wear and tear. Been about over two years I have this wallet. Since it is compact, I usually use it with my Louis Vuitton bum bag. So it is more like a summer wallet because I don't use my bum bag when it rains or snow. The lambskin held up very well better than I expected. Every time I switch bag, I will wipe it with baby wipes, reason why the stitches are still clean and neat. In the back pocket, I usually tuck in some receipts. If you take the subway or the train, you can put your IC card in there for easy access or your most used credit card. Even after removing my scrap paper, the pocket is still nice and tight. On the surface, it still looks brand new with no creases or wrinkles. The matelassé is very puffy. The border still looks good, no peelings. The glazing is not sticky and still uniform on all the sides and corners. How about the charm? Let me take it off and show to you closer. I think the charm doesn't have scratches. If any, you can barely see them. Hairline scratches are very minimal as well. No oxidation on the hardware, no peeling. To be honest, I'm very impressed with the quality. I have a Chanel bag which I rarely use and just leaving it in the closet will make the hardware peel in less than 6 months. So for something that I constantly pull in, in and out from my purse, it looks pretty good. The clasp is still tight and I don't see any gaps. The snap closes tight but I rarely close it because of the coins, it needs more pulling to snap it. Reason why you see an indent here, because I don't close the snap button. And with time, it leaves a mark on the lambskin. The surface is still very smooth, no indent or creases, and even the corners get to lift often, the wrinkles disappear once laid flat again. No oxidation on the buttons, and again, no creases on the lambskin. I love the coins compartment. It can hold lots and still doesn't get wrapped. Sometimes I have to empty it and clean it with some baby wipes. You know, coins are yucky. The cards compartment is still smooth. I only put gift cards in there. I put my ID and credit cards in the Chanel card holder because sometimes I only carry this in my pocket. It has four cards pockets, but you can easily fit eight cards without problem. I usually put two cards in each pocket. You can put more cards on the side pockets, but as you can see, I'm not that rich, so they're empty. This is the only apparent stitch end, and after two years, no frayings. The bill compartment can hold a lot of bills and plenty of receipts. Still looks pretty nice and clean. In conclusion, the Dior Lotus wallet is really well made. And if I didn't tell you it is a 2 years old wallet, you wouldn't know it, right? Also, it is almost the same price as the Chanel card holder. But in terms of quality and value, this Zia wallet wins by far. So, no regret at all, and I love this little wallet. 
small but mighty. This concludes my two years review of the Dior Lutz's wallet. I hope it answers all your questions. Thank you for watching and see you soon.